What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to take you through Nubia's new cell phone, the Red Magic 6R. They recently sent it out to me to review. So I've been playing around with it about the past month or so, testing it out and trying to get a better idea of how best to take advantage of its gaming technology. So what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna take you through it, show you what I like and don't like, give you a better idea of why I think this is honestly a pretty decent cell phone for being under $500. So with that said, let's go ahead and get into it. The Red Magic 6R comes with basically everything you'd expect with a cell phone. It includes a 30 watt fast charger and a USB-A to USB-C cable. Unfortunately, the phone does not include an audio jack, so they included a USB-C to 3.5 millimeter headphone jack adapter. They also included a clear silicone case for additional protection and also a SIM card ejector to easily access the dual SIM card slot. I wanted to also show you what the startup looked like just to give you a better sense for the phone before I test it out for a few weeks. The specific Red Magic 6R version I was sent is the Cosmos Edition, which features 8 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of memory and is priced at only $499. You can also upgrade it to the Mercury version for $100 more and get 12 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of memory along with more of a silver look rather than the blue look. Alright, now let's get into the phone's design. At the bottom of the phone you'll find a single speaker instead of dual speakers, which I'll discuss later, a USB-C port, and the SIM card port. On the right side of the phone you'll find two built-in shoulder triggers as well as the volume control buttons and power button. Outside of that, there are no additional features on the other two sides of the phone. On the back, you'll find the quad camera module and plastic back. Even though this is considered a gaming phone, I really like the subtle design rather than it being over the top with crazy designs or RGB lights. My only complaint here is that if you choose to not use a case, you'll most likely get your fingerprints everywhere like you can see here. The Red Magic 6R is powered by a 4200 milliamp battery that I think is just okay, but for a gaming focused phone that needs a lot of power, I think this is definitely an area for improvement. And unfortunately this phone does not support wireless charging. In order to unlock this cell phone, you have a few options. One way is to swipe to unlock with your PIN number. Another option is you can activate facial recognition, and you can also unlock with the integrated fingerprint sensor. The screen is one of the many reasons why this phone is ideal for mobile gaming with its large 6.67 inch full HD AMOLED display that can support up to 144Hz refresh rate. Basically what this means is that compared to a standard 60Hz screen like an iPhone, more information reaches your eyes in the same amount of time, leading to a smoother looking motion giving you the ability to react faster in games. It may be a little hard to tell in this video, but I'll try to show you what it looks like to give you a better idea. So we'll first go to the settings and head over to the display option to first switch it over to 60 hertz. It's a little difficult to see here, but the screen is just a tad slower and less responsive. Now I'll just switch it back to 144 hertz and show what difference it makes. As you can see, it's slightly faster and way more responsive. The unfortunate drawback to this mode is that you're gonna end up draining your battery. Another cool feature to this phone is the always on display. You can go with the standard digital clock and customize it. Or you can also do video, GIF, image, or a few other clock options. So let's just say you wanted to do video like the fish option. You just select and apply it, and it'll be ready next time you lock your phone. So what exactly makes this phone a gaming phone? We've touched on the high refresh rate screen and also the shoulder triggers, but in order to fully utilize them, you'll want to enter the game space. So let's just take you through it using Call of Duty Mobile. 
In order to access the gaming features, you just need to swipe right twice to open it up. First off, you can easily switch your refresh rate now that you're in game mode. Most mobile games are not optimized for this type of performance, so be sure to also double check the game settings to get the most out of what you're playing. One nice way of checking how your game is performing is by adding the FPS feature to your screen. You probably won't notice the game's full frame rate until you're actually in the game. Next thing you'll want to do is map your shoulder triggers to points on the screen. For most shooting games, you'll probably map them to aim down sight and shooting, but it's up to you on what you prefer. Out of everything, the shoulder triggers are definitely my favorite feature of the phone. They just make most games easier to play and an overall better experience. A couple other cool features of the phone's gaming space includes being able to add and customize on-screen crosshair aim assist options, as well as having the ability to enable a game enhancement function that boosts the phone's GPU and CPU performance. You can also take advantage of some of the phone's gaming tech using Xbox's Game Pass. I think that this could one day be one of the reasons why mobile gaming picks up more and more over the next few years. Unfortunately, Game Pass is still in beta mode, so there is still some work to do. But using the Red Magic 6R, for most games you can either connect one of your Xbox controllers to it via Bluetooth, or this phone is also compatible with Razer's Kishi controller. Game Pass even has several options that are optimized to be played specifically on your phone, which is where you can once again take advantage of mapping the shoulder triggers. One of my biggest complaints with this phone is how they went with a single speaker instead of a more immersive dual speaker setup. My other issue with it is its location when you're trying to play a game. The phone features a 64 megapixel HD camera that I thought, for it being a gaming phone, performed fairly decently. Rather than trying to explain, I decided to just show you what footage and photos look like using a professional model, our dog Dexter. All right, so there you have it. That is Nubia's new cell phone, the Red Magic 6R. I honestly think it's a pretty decent option, especially because it's only $499. There's definitely some room for improvement, um, and I don't think mobile gaming's at its peak right now. I, I, I see it having a lot of potential in the future, especially with what I showed with Game Pass. But other than that, it, it, this is a solid cell phone. So if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, just let me know down below. I'll leave links down in the description for everything you might've seen in this video. Other than that, that's all I got. Okay, bye.